this is Nikki Lynn for PhotographersBlingMagazine.com. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, use part three of our Sunshine Goddess action set. Um, this is going to be video three of three. Um, the first video focused on our Sunshine Goddess for um, overall shots. The second video focused on Sunshine Goddess for close-ups. And this one's going to focus on um, sun flare recovery. So we all love... Um, to take sun flare shots. It's fun to do a few of them with each session. Um, personally, I'm not a fan of doing a whole session that way. However, um, many photographers are, and that's fine. Um, this action is designed specifically for helping you recover some tones in your image after you've shot it and you have too much sun flare, um, where otherwise you wouldn't have intended it to be. So I really love this image. This was provided to us by Nanny Haddon. Um, she's one of our um, Bling, blingers and I'm happy to be using her image today so this image I love this image um, and the haze is fine again if that's your style and that's what you love it's totally fine however if this was my image I would want to pull back some of the tones in it so I'm gonna go ahead into the actions palette and I am going to go ahead and play my sun flare recovery action as part of the sunshine goddess um, our other videos dealt with all the other aspects of this action set um, so I encourage you to go to youtube.com slash photographers bling and you can view through our videos and you can see part one, two, and now three. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play this on this image. Again, this is the sun flare recovery that I'm, that I'm playing at this point. And we'll see that instantly this image went from, um, kind of haze, almost like a gray tone, not quite as much definition as you would want, um, to... We still have the sun flare, we still have that soft haze and that soft elegance to the image, but we also have the tone and the depth exactly where we would want it. I love the little um, light orbs down here, and I love the orbs here. Um, I really like everything about this image. I think Nanny did a great job with it. Um, I just want to show you how to use this portion. So we're going to go over to our layers palette, and the first thing you'll notice is that the sun flare recovery is grouped, grouped together in a, in a folder. So we can go ahead and this is defaulted to 74%. You can pull this down. Um, you can max it out at 100%, whatever your liking is. Um, for this particular image, I really do like it right around 87%. Um, I love to be able to really cl see, clearly see eyes and be able to have good definition, especially with the sun flare. I don't mind a little bit of the flare, but I, I really like being able to see my subjects clearly. Um, so for me, I really love this. And I wouldn't change anything inside here other than just increasing the group opacity. However, I am going to show you quickly um, the different um, aspects that are inside here. We have a softened skin layer and when you increase that you'll notice that this will um, soften skin and it will highlight all the skin tones. So if your image is a little bit darker or didn't have as much um, light on the face, you can go ahead and increase that however you'd like. I like it at about 41%. Um, the next option is bring back the black definition. So we can see if we pull this up, we get more definition. If we pull it down, we get less definition. I like it at about 59% for this image, and I'll leave it there. We have a sunshine warmth for warming skin tones. This can be adjusted, again, up or down. So I like it at about 82%. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If you are dealing with um, a blue sky image or clients who are wearing blue and you want to bring a cooler tone to it, you can pull this down further, um, and this would give you more of the cool tones. But again, I like the warmth in it. Um, the sharpen and define here, you won't really be able to see much on your screen when I play around with this, but this basically sharpens and defines the eyes. It will add a little bit of sparkle in there um, and also will add some more definition into the rest of the image. Um, we have an enhanced contrast, um, which won't do very much. You can see this is all the way down, this is all the way up. It just slightly enhances those dark tones a little bit more. Um, and then we have our burn edges. And to use this, what we're going to do um, is click on the actual image, and we're going to go ahead. By default, our burn tool has been chosen. Our midtones here has been selected, and our brush is set to white. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to um, just burn the edges in here. And you'll see my exposure set to 100% just so that for this video so you could see it. Um, if I was actually adding this, I wouldn't do 100%. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and just show you how it looks. And then I'm going to go ahead and step back. And I'm going to re-add it how I would add it if I was working in the image. So I'm going to go about 50%. And I'm just going to go ahead. Whoops. There we go. Um, I don't want to get her skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and add 
this. I actually might add it at only 19%. I like that better. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add some definition to the pole, a little bit down here through the spheres, and we'll put a little bit up here into the background. Um, and I'm actually going to add a little bit more to her hair also. And then you can play around with this. Um, I'm playing around with her midtones, but you can also um, choose to add some contrast to your highlights as well, which I'm going to go in here and highlight some of these. Um, this has been defaulted to a masking layer, so you'll notice I got a little bit of the um, burn tool on her arm. I'm going to go ahead in this layer, burn edges, and I'm going to click on the white mask, and then I'm going to choose a black paintbrush. And I am going to choose this at, oh, let's say about 81%, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take it off her arm. And you can see that instantly removed the, um, that burning from her arm. And I'm also going to remove part of it from her hair again. I actually kind of like it lighter there. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And then this image, in my opinion, I think is completely ready to go to a client. So I would go ahead and flatten and save. Um, if you don't already have our Facebook resizing actions, they're available for free download right now at facebook.com slash photographers bling. Click the red arrow underneath our profile picture and we have a whole resizing um, action kit that you can purchase. Um, so that you can put your logo on your images, you can add a logo banner to your images, and it will also resize so that your images will remain crisp and clear when you put them on Facebook and will not be pixelated, which is fantastic. So um, make sure you check that out. It's a great addition to your tool set, and again, it's completely free right now at facebook.com slash photographers bling. Um, so this is it. I'm going to go ahead and flatten this layer, go ahead and save it, and I'm just going to show you the before and after here. This is, again, our before image and this is our after image. And you can see this is um, a quite amazing difference between the two. So I hope that you found this a video tutorial helpful. Again, this was um, submitted by Nanny Haddon and she's one of our blingers and we really love this picture. Thank you Nanny for submitting. Um, and have a great day.